Hello. I'm going to walk you through the install of your two-piece leak defender fuel neck replacement system for your Freightliner truck. Well, actually three-piece. You've got the insert, you've got the collar, and then you have your cap. As you can see here, we've got our demo tank. Very worn out, typical. So what we do first is make sure you lubricate on this insert. Lubricate the three O-rings. Slide that into your tank like so, until it's firm and flush. You'll see that the big O-ring is flush against your tank surface. Here's your collar. Make sure that that's lubricated. This oil off my hand, so I'm slippery. Then it goes on just like your factory cap used to fit over. Snap down, start to turn by hand. Once you get to that point, use your non-marking strap wrench in place. It's a clockwise turn as well, so we're going to give it a clockwise turn. And you can feel it snap into place just like your cap. Secure it, firmly compressed. Last step, take your Freightliner leak defender cap. Now note we just have these decals on for demonstration purposes, but your kit will come with a new spring retainer, chain. Be sure to double check that this is firmly attached. Okay, so we'll make sure we got a nice good attachment there. Drop it in. Secure the cap. So if you want to adjust any fitment. The last on the plate liner, you'll see a bag in your kit with set screws. You'll have two set screws and an included Allen wrench. And you can do this the cap last, cap first. It's not really, I just did it with the cap. I put the cap on first this particular time. But you'll notice there's two set screw holes tapped. So I just take my fingers and get them to get them to start. And if it's a real tight spot, you know, you can take the tip of your Allen wrench, use the tip of your Allen. It's a lot better than my big fat fingers. Tighten down both your set screws and your installation is complete.